Goldilocks and the Three Bears by East the Science Beast Deep in the heart of the forest, where the trees reached for the sky, nestled a snug cottage belonging to three bears. Papa Bear was the tough but tender type, Mama Bear was as sweet as honey, and Baby Bear was a bubbly ball of energy, always eager for adventure. On a bright morning, Mama Bear whipped up a pot of porridge, sending steamy whiffs everywhere. Let's stretch our paws while it cools, she proposed. Agreeing, the bears ventured into the woods, leaving their home unguarded. Soon enough, a curious girl named Goldilocks with golden curls stumbled upon the cozy cottage. The door, as if inviting her inside, was slightly ajar. Curiosity sparking, she stepped in, ready to explore. Goldilocks skipped into the cozy cottage. She spotted a table with a feast of porridge. There were three bowls of different sizes. There was one that was humongous, just right for Papa Bear, a medium-sized one for Mama Bear, and a teensy tiny one for Baby Bear. She sipped on Papa Bear's porridge, but it was too hot. Mama Bear's porridge was sipped on next, but it was too cold. Finally, she tried Baby Bear's porridge, and it was just right. Then she gobbled it up faster than a squirrel on a nut hunt. Goldilocks, with her tummy doing a happy dance, strolled into the living room. And what did she find? Three chairs waiting for her, one for each bear, Papa, Mama, and Baby. First, she tried the Papa Bear chair, but it was rock hard. Next, she gave Mama Bear's chair a try, but it was too soft. Finally, she snuggled into Baby Bear's chair and it was the perfect match. But, uh oh, the tiny chair couldn't handle her big personality and busted into pieces. Goldilocks was sleepy and needed a snuggly slumber spot, so she went bed hunting. She found three beds, one for the Papa Bear, one for the Mama Bear, and a teeny tiny one for Baby Bear. Papa Bear's bed was too hard, and Mama Bear's bed was too soft. Well, 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 would you look at that, she said. That's when she spotted the perfect bed. It was Baby Bear's bed, and it was just right. Goldilocks cozied up and dozed off in a blink of an eye. When the bears return home, they discover that someone has been in their house. Papa Bear exclaims in a deep voice, someone's been eating my porridge. Mama Bear realizes her porridge has been tasted too, and Baby Bear, in his tiny voice, cries out, someone's been eating my porridge, and they ate it all up. Then the bears spot the chairs. Papa Bear grumbles, someone's been sitting in my chair. Mama Bear notices her chair, saying, someone's been sitting in my chair, too. Baby Bear, in his small voice, adds, and someone's been sitting in my chair, and they've broken it all to pieces. As they made their way to their beds, Papa Bear declares in a deep growl, someone's been lying in my bed. Mama Bear, with a touch of surprise, exclaims, and someone's been lying in my bed too. Baby Bear, with a mix of disbelief and frustration, says, someone's been lying in my bed, and they're still there. The bears, now thoroughly alarmed, approach the beds to find Goldilocks fast asleep in Baby Bear's bed. When the bears discover Goldilocks asleep in Baby Bear's bed, she is startled awake by their presence. Realizing she is in the bear's home without permission and the fact that they're actual bears, Goldilocks becomes frightened and quickly flees the house. Goldilocks runs away faster than a cheetah on a rabbit hunt. She is never seen by the three bears again. The end. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below.